Hey there, it's Bootsone here. This is an interesting, to me anyways, an interesting piece of equipment. It's a very old electric shower. It's a Gainsborough 7. Inlet and outlet there. This is just a bit of stuff that would have been on the bottom of it. Dirty on top, dirty inside because I got it out of a skip, so it's in a bad way. It has an indicator lamp, or two indicator lamps in the front, they've been snipped. So you'd have a knob here to turn it on, to low, medium or high. No switches, nothing else, just this knob. So then inside, if you were to imagine this cover would be on top, and then inside you've got this unit here. So the knob is this thing, and it's broken off, so if I just lift it over like that. It's got two micro switches, or actually they're not really they're quite big switches, but they're probably still considered to be micro switches. And as you rotate the knob, it turns on one, the other, or both. And that just drives the live into one or both. Two elements, it's got a copper pot, water in and out on the bottom. It had, it had like a, like an isolator valve on the bottom, but a big, big chrome one. So I wonder if you regulated the flow with that valve. You just turned it on, regulated the flow, and then turned on the heat, one, two, or three, because it doesn't have an infinitely variable heat range like modern ones do, where they regulate the water flow through one knob and then the number of elements on in another knob. So you have this one, so you have, you have this switch here anyways, one or two elements. You have the contacts for one, one element on one side and the other on the other, or maybe it's some other combination. Then you have this guy here in the middle. I think it's a pressure valve, because it's got another switch on top. Um, electromechanical, I'd call it, because it's got a little like silver diaphragm there. So I guess if that gets too much pressure in it from being on, it blows. And then the same, there's a thermostatic switch on the back, that silver thing in under here. Very simple, yeah, so I reckon just looking at it, I didn't, I didn't understand that until I started talking to myself about it or talking to the camera about it. I think you regulated the flow with a with a valve, like a tap or a faucet, and then you regulated the energy or the heating up on top. So it really was just a a pot in and out. Maybe it wasn't an electric shower. Maybe it was just a hot water boiler to go over a sink. But I think it was an electric shower. Bizarre. If you know anything more about these, let me know. It's interesting to see them made out of solid copper. As good as solid copper anyways. Copper jacket and a copper lid. Nowadays they tend to be maybe a copper top, but almost invariably a plastic body. And they have a flow regulator to let the water through. Yeah, pretty crazy piece of equipment. It's not. I don't see why it makes any difference like that it would be any more or less dangerous than the ones nowadays, as long as the water doesn't come in contact with the electricity directly. It's not a big deal. It's got all the safeguards. Got that diaphragm up on top. You've got the thermal trip switch on the back. It is what it is. Pretty cool. I wonder actually, yeah, because it's, it might just have been, rather than a shower, it might just have been a boiler, because a label like that, if it was in a shower, in theory would have gotten washed off over time. Interesting. Interesting. Right, there you go. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Look at that filthy hand. Give us a like. Thanks for watching.